right after I met this. Oh man, already, Steve? I know, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. All right, where's, ready? Where's right. your net? Right there. Folks, welcome to Detroit, Michigan. And doing some walleye fishing. I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm fishing with a buddy of mine, Steve Davis of Grand Rapids, Michigan. We go back a long way. And he's already showing me up by catching the first fish of the day. We just got out. We're not messing around, Larry. We got fish <laughs> frying to do. <laughs> That's a great start, man. Well, we're going to show you what we're using today. We got about a three hour window till sunset, but we're going to try and put a bunch of these in the, the live well and have a fish fry. This is the first one. Got this one, Larry. You might have to net him, too. I got him on a Berkeley Golf. Which, you know, here much more durable and I like it. I'll be your net guy all day long, Steve. You just keep catching my fillets and I'll net any fish you want. Yeah, you're happy about the gulp? You know, we have a hard time with minnows and worms and you know, it's pretty rocky down there, but these gulps are durable. So, you know, rather than go through a, a dozen minnows, Look at, hardly looks like it's even been touched. So you got a one ounce jig, which we need for the, uh, cause the current is so heavy here. Um, four inch, we call this a Wyandotte worm. This is just, you know, this speckled blue with a chartreuse tail. Throw a stinger hook on there. And then on top of all of that, I put the gulp on there for a little uh, uh, smell. Uh, and it, obviously it worked really well cause that didn't take long. And that's key too, man, you, you buy a bunch of minnows and you go through them left and right with either baiting for your kids or missing on, on walleye or whatever. And you're happy to have that gulp on the end of your line after, the, after you catch a fish. Because you can go through a dozen minnows really quick. Man, you're right, Steve, they hammer them. This one actually is a little bit bigger, Steve. Got him on a power bait twitch tail. Just bite the head off, put it on that jig. And the reason why you bite the head off is these jigs are a little smaller than what these baits are usually used for. So it's snugging it up closer to the head of the jig and it doesn't give it that long of a body afterwards. Cause you can see the, this is a walleye type jig. So it's a smaller presentation. Usually your bass baits and your bass jigs are really, really big and long. So these walleye ones are a little bit a little bit shorter, so you gotta make the bait a little bit shorter, but man, it inhaled that bait. Oh, nice, really nice. Yep, I'll just whip them in the bowl here. Yeah, you don't need a nut? Uh, there you get go. in! Oh, oh, there he goes! <laughs> That's okay, there's plenty more with that one. Sure you don't need the net, Steve? <laughs> just more happy that I got, the, I got him on the goal. <laughs> oh, nice one. Oh, crystal clear water, look at that. Oh, yes. Fish in the net. Nothing better, huh? You know, this net, I've got a shorter net here. It's really nice when you're, when you're fishing by yourself. If, if this handle was any longer, it'd be really hard for me to grab it and, and net a fish by myself, especially. But this is pretty handy. And that's the nice thing about this boat too. Steve's got it rigged really nice. I mean, this is a new boat for Steve. Just got it this year. And he's got it, he's got it rigged up really sweet. He's got these nut holders. It's got a rail system that he's got rod holders that he can put in here. Great platform that I can just kind of fish off the back and he's gonna, he's got a platform off the front. So we got a lot of room in this boat. Nice live well. I think you did a right, nice job, Steve, on this. Oh, I'm in love with Prince Crab. <laughs> <laughs> There's two things that Steve loves right now. Yeah, Prince Crab and Gulp. Prince Crab and Gulp, baby. Big musky. You know when you're fishing for walleye, big musky tend to hang around as well but it's really important to have a good drag on when, you're, when you have a fish like this on. I mean, you can hear it, it's just, it's just peeling it off right now. You know, when you're fighting a fish like this, 
When you hear that line screaming, don't even bother reeling. When he stops, reel down to the fish, pick up the, that line when you can, but it really doesn't pay for you to reel against a, a drag. Get him! Got him! Little nut, got him, Steve! Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Steve, nice nut jump! Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that hook, it's just in the side of his mouth right there. Sweet. That's a heavy fish. Well, we came out for the infamous walleye run, and look what, we got an extra bonus to go along with it. Can't turn that down by anything. That's a lot of fun. Caught our Wally, I wanna thank uh, my buddy Steve Davis for fishing with me today. <laughs> what a great way to end the day. We're gonna let this guy go and then go clean some walleye. But Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back. I'm Larry Ladowski and I'll catch you later. Beautiful fish, Steve.